Hello, today we will be solving the MSc CMI data science question paper from the year 2018. We are solving questions from the part B which is the subjective part of the paper. So in today's video we will be solving question number 12, 13 and 14 from the same paper. So let us start off with the question. The question is that it has been given that an ice cream company mainly operates in the five southern states of India. The pie chart shows the breakdown of revenues in percentages for the ice cream company over the last summer. The bar chart shows the detail of breakdown for strawberry flavor by the states in lakhs of rupees. So in that case, question number 12, it says that what is the total revenue of the ice cream company? So now, as you can see in the pie chart over here, ice cream sales for different flavors has been mentioned and the revenue generated has been broken down in respect of the flavors. So for strawberry you have 30%, for vanilla of 12%, for others you have 4%, for mint you have 12 chocolate for 16% and chocolate has 26%. And only in the bar chart over here, only the sales of strawberry by states has been mentioned over here. So as you can see, for Tamil Nadu, you had a sale of 20 lakh rupees. For Kerala, you had 15. For Karnataka, you had 25 lakhs. For Andhra, you had 10 lakhs. And for Telangana, you had 30 lakhs. So if you can find over here now, let us get back to the problem. So as you can see, what is the total revenue of the ice cream company? So what we'll try to do over here is that we'll find out the total sales that has been done. Uh, total sale of strawberry that has been done over here. And that total sale is equal to 30% of the total revenue. So 30% of the total revenue is, is will be given from this bar chart. And from that we can find out the actual revenue of the ice cream company. So if let the revenue be let the revenue be R. Okay. So in that case, 30% of R will be equal to the total sales so that will be equal to 20 plus 15 plus 25 plus 10 plus 30 okay and this will be equal to 20 uh, this will be equal to 35 plus 35 70 plus and this will be 100 so 30 by 100 into R is equal to 100 so this is actually 100 lakh so therefore R will be equal to 100 into 100 divided by 30. So this will be equal to, these zeros cancel out. So you have 1000 by 3. So this will be approximately equal to 333.33 lakhs. So 333.33 lakhs is the total revenue of the ice cream company. Okay, so now let's move on to the next part of the problem, which is question number 13. In this part of the question, which is question number 13, it has been said that what is the total sales of the chocolate flavor? Now we have already found out the total revenue. So 26% of that revenue will be the total sales for the chocolate flavor. So therefore, sales of chocolate flavor will be 26% of the revenue which as we have already found out as R. So this will be 26 by 100 into 1000 by 3. For simplicity we are not taking 33, 333.33 we are taking up this. So these zeros cancel out and they are ultimately left with 260 by 3 and this is approximately equal to 86.67 so the revenue on the chocolate uh, sales of the chocolate flavor is 86.67 lakhs okay this is the answer to question number 30 okay so in this fourth 14th question it has been said that if you assume that the chocolate flavor and the strawberry flavor are sold in the same proportion across the five states then what is the sales of chocolate in Tamil Nadu in lakhs of rupees? Again, let us get back to the bar chart. So in the bar chart, sales of strawberry by states. So in Tamil Nadu, 20, in Kerala, 15, then here we have 25, then here we have 10, and here we have ultimately 30. So total sales is, total sales is equal to 100 lakhs. And Tamil Nadu has 20 lakhs. So the proportion of sales ratio 
of sales ratio of sales in tamil nadu is equal to 20 by 100 so this would be 1 by 5 so 1 by 5th of the total sales come from Tamil Nadu or strawberry now it has been said the chocolate flavor and the strawberry are sold in the same proportion secret of 5 state so the ratio of sales for chocolate also will be 1 by 5 of the total sales okay now 1 by 5 of the total sales now we know the total sales is equal to 26 percent of R not revenue and uh, revenue that has been generated from chocolate as we have already found out previously that is equal to 86 point six seven that was the revenue from chocolate and in Tamil Nadu one fifth one fifth of that comes from the sales in Tamil Nadu so if we multiply one by five with this number that will be the chocolate sales in Tamil Nadu okay so this if you find it out this will be equal to this is basically equal to 260 by 3 into 1 by 5 so to if you divide it this will be 5 and then you have 2 so 52 by 3 so if we divide 52 by 3 this will be equal to 52 by 3 so you have 1 then 22 then 7 then 21 then 1 comes over then you have point 3 so this is basically equal to 17.33 lakhs so 17.33 lakhs is the total sale sales of chocolate in Tamil Nadu in lakhs of rupees okay so this is the answer that you are looking for so this is the way in which you solve these questions basically the questions 12 13 and 14 which came in the which came in the question um, of 2018 CMI data science question paper as follows so if you, if you have any doubt regarding the process that we have adopted so far in solving this question then you can comment in the comment section below and we'll try to get back to you Thank you very much.